Hey guys, it's uh, section 5 today. Let's continue on from our previous class. Once again, thank you so much for subscribing. Um, really appreciate all the, all the comments. So if you have anything you want to comment, just feel free. Uh, anything you want to learn, just feel free to comment as well. I'll try to include it in the tutorials if it is uh, not too complex and uh, it's within my, my uh, lesson plans. Um, I'll try to include it as well. So let's get started. Um, today we're going to learn a bit about um, another way to create our background um, using light planes. Um, but my personal favorite is using Skybox. So I'm going to um, show you how to do that as well. After that we will be adding some... We have added light but I'm going to show you how to properly add lights. You know, and some of the settings we can use uh, and have for our project then um, um, I don't really like the gun when I'm walking around so I'm going to show you how to remove it um, and um, of course I'm going to add some more collision stuff for you to use um, and um, so let's get started um, let's open our project files so the first thing we want to learn is um, using emissive light planes Okay, so in the previous uh, lesson, I've taught you how we can use a static mesh, you know, and put a background to it. But some I realized um, from other people, you know, uh, in the community, they they have done some other stuff um, as well um, by using light planes. So what I'm going to show you is um, just going to re reattach this, you know to show you from beginning um, what I'm trying to do. Okay, so just give me a moment. So, remember the last time around we have a static mesh background which I really, really hate. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you another way using uh, emissive, uh, I'm gonna just close this. Using emissive light planes. Okay, so I'm, I'm still going to use the same um, static mesh. I'm going to make it smaller and pull it closer. Okay. Rotate it a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simulate a very bright plane. Okay, so that it looks very bright outside. So um, let me just create a new material. Material. Emissive. Oops. And emissive background. Okay. So I'm gonna just put a white color. Constant tree vector. Okay, maybe uh, just for the sake of it, I'm going to put a bit yellowish to it. And then I'm going to put multiply. So to make it really, really bright. Okay. Constant. Multiply it by 20 times and put it in the emissive color. Okay, so it, it kind of uh, simulates a very, very bright material. Okay, and I'm gonna assign it to my skybox. Uh, sorry, to my, assign it to my static mesh. Okay, there you go. So, uh, I've, seen, I've seen some people doing it in the community. Um, it's, uh, it looks nice for some projects. That, I don't think it works quite well for this particular one, so um, it's up to you. Um, maybe you can explore using this way to uh, for your background. You know, it will create a very surreal, magical kind of uh, uh, mood. But um, I'm gonna show you how I use uh, Skybox. Okay, so let's uh, continue from there. Okay, before I move on, I just want to share with you the static mesh. Um, if you're putting it very near your models, you need to remember to untick cast shadow. 
okay so we don't cast a shadow onto your uh, models okay if you are rebuilding another static mesh uh, remember that as well okay so let's learn how to use skybox now um, before I continue I just want to share that I learned about skybox and uh, HDRI, HDRI skylight um, from this guy called uh, Ragu um, he's very active in the community very active in the forums and he asks a lot of uh, really good questions that um, bring us forward in terms of lighting uh, in the forums so I learned um, his, um, his way of using HDRI uh, skylight and skybox from this tutorial so you can check out his blog RAG3DVs.com um, and it's this particular tutorial that will show you how to use the skybox um, I learned my skybox from there so um, just to give him credit for it um, so the first thing in doing the skybox we need to download a HDRI map so uh, you can just search for HDRI and um, for our tutorial I'm going to use this one Barcelona rooftop so just go ahead and download it okay I have downloaded it so let's extract it to our folder our project folder put it in lesson 1.5 okay so I'm just going to um, create a folder and import it I'd like to put it under HDRI okay um, and then let's import the map face desktop that's one for five is this one okay okay the first thing to do when you imported your HDRI map is to go in and go to mid gen settings and change this to no mid maps okay this is very important so that your skybox will look sharper okay it uh, if you don't do that it will look blurry the resolution is not very high so let's change it to no mid maps and save it hi guys before I forget um, I forget to mention something and that apart from the mid map uh, settings we need to change the texture group to skybox okay originally I think is world so we need to change it to skybox okay so once we have imported this successfully um, we need to create the sky material and uh, we already have a skybox so it's uh, is okay but we need to import a proper sky material um, I wanted to teach you how to create one but I realized that in the starter content um, there's already one so so we can just use the one that is given by Unreal Engine um, I don't really create my projects with starter contents so I'll have one that is um, a standalone project where I can uh, use the contents uh, on an ad hoc basis so if you go to the starter content folder and the blueprints assets you see quite a few um, assets here this is the skybox that uh, material that we want so I would highlight um, these four uh, assets and I will migrate it to my current project okay um, I've already migrated it previously so I won't be doing this but you can uh, continue to do so and once that is done it will be here okay I have um, I have already assigned the Barcelona rooftop um, cube map so all you have to do is you just go to the HDRI uh, HDRI 
uh, light stage underscore skybox underscore master underscore hdri material double click on it and then look for the barcelona hdri map okay once that is done just save it and then um remember our editor skysphere all we have to do is to change the material to the skybox material okay you see that it's a bit skewed right now it's because the skybox is a bit small so we're gonna enlarge it to 20 and now it will look fine okay and um so it will look like i'm actually on a tall building um if i don't like the rotation I can rotate it okay so this is just nice and that's it. it's very simple way of uh, doing the skybox if you want to learn a bit more um, how does the skybox works you can uh, right on double click on the master so this is an instance material which I will cover later when we do materials but um, when you go inside you can study how they have created the skybox material um, another thing that is pretty cool that you can explore yourself is the tint so if you want to have a slight tint you can do so okay so that's pretty simple isn't it let's move on